Today we're going to be talking about my DIY automatic egg collector that I made a couple videos back that I said that I was going to be making a couple modifications to see just for myself if they would actually work at either collecting eggs or keeping adults out of the actual spawning areas. And that's what this video is about. If you want to see how I actually built this, I'll leave that video in the description below for you guys to check out and you guys can see everything that I built. It's all very easy to assemble, very plug and play. You only have to buy like four different things really and it's super easy and I have found it to be very efficient at collecting eggs for non-adhesive egg scatterers. And that's all that I'm going to say about the actual system. Again, if you guys want to see how I built that description link, check it out. So the two things I hope to accomplish with the modifications I made was keeping adults out of this container here, as well as this container down here, as well as a little green area in here, as well as seeing if the celestial prodaniums will spawn over the just bare mesh. And on both accounts, it failed <laughs> miserably. I tried it for two weeks to spawn CPD eggs. I was feeding normal live baby brine, frozen brine shrimp, flakes, pellets, all the type of stuff that I normally feed. No eggs for two weeks. The next day, after about two weeks time, I came in and put in my normal spawning mops that I have in there. Boom, 20 plus eggs. So I think using the spawning material, there's no reason why you shouldn't use it. You should go ahead and use that spawning material, especially if it helps increase your egg production, which is what we're all after. We want more babies, we want more fry, we want more adults, either to keep for ourselves or to sell. That's the first area, it failed to actually harvest eggs. So go ahead and use your Subwasser Tangs mosses or acrylic yarn. It might be a little bit of a hassle, but you're not going to get any eggs if you don't use it. The second thing I was looking at was whether or not the mesh grate there would actually keep the adults out. Because I had some issues previously where the adults would be able to swim down into the little catchment area here, or actually get up into the big box up here. And again, it failed. I had two or three adults, I think, that managed to get into varying stages of this contraption. So it didn't work on both accounts and uh, you know, you live and you learn and that's why I wanted to see if this worked. I have a couple of ideas of things that I would like to change or modify, but I'd like to hear from you guys and get some input from you guys because more brains working on the same thing will yield most likely more results and better results if we sort of put everything together. Because I have plenty of CBDs at this point, I'm willing to experiment and see what things work and what things don't work because I know that mine are actually spawning. Additionally, I'm gonna be giving a live presentation at a fish club talking about Celestial Prodanios. It's gonna be a Zoom meeting at 7.30 on this coming Wednesday. So whatever that is, today is July 22nd. So it's going to be July 26th is when that meeting is going to be. And you guys are more than welcome to come. There is a Zoom link below for you guys to check out. Those of you guys that are watching it afterwards and I missed the opportunity to go ahead and watch that, would you guys want to see a live stream that's 45 minutes to an hour long of me talking about breeding my Celestial Prodanios, everything I've learned about Celestial Prodanios, all of my culmination of knowledge on Celestial Prodanios in a singular video? I think that'd be a great first live stream to start, you know, a conversation with you guys and to get to hang out with you guys a little bit more so you guys can learn hopefully more about Celestial Prodanios and how to breed them. In addition to hearing your guys' recommendations on modifications to make with this, I also want to start seeing uh, if we can use this same breeding setup, ooh la la, to spawn other different types of egg scattering fish, or if it's only applicable to Celestial Prodanios. I don't think it's only applicable to Celestial Prodanios, but it is something that I want to see, as well as I can start maybe getting some more back points for my aquarium club. So it's a twofold thing. Again, if you guys want to see that video of how I actually made the spawning container, I'll leave it over here across my shoulder, and I hope to see you guys over there, and if I don't, have a blessed day. See ya.